Hey guys, so today we're gonna be reviewing the non cleat version. And I'm recording. Hey guys, so. Hey guys, so today we're gonna be reviewing the non cleat version of uh, cycling shoes from Santic. So. So. I got, I uh, ordered this uh, back on December 13. It just arrived today, December 27. So it took them two weeks just to get the shoes on here. And uh, a couple days after I ordered it, I wanted to cancel it because upon checking the reviews and, you know, um, as well as the design of the shoes, I think it works great for a cleat version of the shoe, but not really for, for, uh, for flat pedals. And I'll let you know why in a bit. So here's the shoe. Um, it has a PU leather. Oh, by the way, just as a just a quick disclaimer, this shoe is extremely great for flat pedals. I tell you now, it's really great for flat pedals. So let's start off with how it came. So it came in a bubble wrap with a manual, which a new. Um, uh, it came with a manual for the cleat version of the shoe. So came with the bubble wrap and free socks from Santic. Thank you so much for that. So the design is PU leather. It has a reflective lining on here. It's reflective, so it's great for night riding. It has a bo boba style lace on here. So we want to turn it to the left. For the left shoe, you want to turn it to the left to tighten it. And then if you want to unlock it, just once you hear that click, you can just turn it on the, the other way around and once you hear that click it's gonna loosen it you'll be able to loosen the the straps the wires so it works similar to the boa straps I, I think as far as the as far as I know the boa only has if you want to loosen it if you want to unlock it you just have to pop it up like this but this one you just have to turn it um, the opposite the other way around so I really love the shoe and one of the reasons why I love the shoe is the same reason why I hated the shoe at first and it's because of the sole. The sole doesn't look as grippy on camera or in the pictures and I was really surprised upon receiving the shoe today. It was fucking grippy. It was freaking grippy as hell. So it's really grippy. It's made of I'm not exactly sure what the materials are for the rubber, but this is the first time I've actually held a shoe uh, with this kind of grippy material for their sole. So it's really great. The pattern, um, it's quite shallow compared to the ones you see in 510s and other similar shoe, but it, you know, it works, it works great. And the heel part also is made of the same material. And I could guarantee that even though this shoe is worn out, you still have the same level of grippiness. Here's why. Because it's not only the outer layer of the sole is grippy as well as on the side right here. So I'm imagining that the entire sole is actually made of the same rubber material. Um, so yeah, breathable sides, breathable fronts, Velcro straps on here to secure your toes or your lower feet even better um here's the shoe tongue right here i'm not exactly sure if it's called shoe tongue but you know it looks like a tongue so i'll call it that so santic branding right there reflective uh, not reflective but glossy so this is the inner side of the shoe it has the same design air vents on here air vents on here reflective straps on there okay so yeah, it's a great shoe. I got this for 3,400 pesos, which runs to right around um, $75 or $70 or so. So it's a really affordable shoe and they did not compromise on the quality. I've bought shoes at this price with much lower quality and Santic did not even comprom compromise one bit. But let's see, let's see, let's see how it goes. Let's see if it's gonna hold up for, for, for the next coming months, but so far, I really love the shoe. It's grippy as hell. And again, what I'm not really a big fan of, and I think what they can really improve on is maybe the shape of the sole. 
because this shape is ideal for runny shoes and for cleat shoes maybe. But for flat pedals, you want the uh, sole to be as flat as possible, just like what you see on uh, the GR, the Shimano's flats and the five tens as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm not exa exactly sure what they, how they were able to make it to where I could, this part right here could really hold well and has a great surface attachment to the pedal. So yeah, you want to try it out. Um, so yeah, you want to try it out, guys. It's really affordable. Um, if you're not a big fan of cleats, as a matter of fact, I actually went away with cleats because they say, or according to studies, it's not really the most efficient way to pedal. So yeah, um, try it out, and I hope you like it as much as, as much as I do. So subscribe to the channel. Click on the like like this video if you like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon for future notification. See ya.